Hi there. This is a quick overview of extensions for Vertical, which is an incremental completion system for Emacs. These extensions change how Vertical displays completion candidates, as well as how you can select them and more besides. But before we get to that, what's Vertico? Vertico is a package for Emacs authored by Daniel Mendler. Um, the source is on GitHub and you can install it uh, from within Emacs from the Emacs list package archive. And what it does is that anytime you use the mini buffer, it produces uh, the completion candidates for you to select from in a vertical list. You can move between items on the list or and or uh, type to filter the list of candidates and that's about it so these extensions uh, they change how uh, vertical displays its candidates how you can uh, select them and uh, do even more and it's best understood using a demo so here are a few uh, not all of the extensions uh, provided by vertical by default you'll notice that uh, you get a list of candidates in a single column with the name of the candidate on the left and some metadata on the right um, about that candidate. The metadata is provided by a different package called marginalia. Um, and that's about it. But if, I, if you turn on vertical grid mode, now you see that candidates are in a grid. Uh, you can move between them uh, using the arrow keys. You can no longer see the metadata but you can see more candidates at once. So that was find file. This is uh, MX and it works with basically any command. Um, that was grid mode. If I turn on reverse mode then it reverses the list of candidates and now the, um, the prompt is at the bottom and the list of candidates it grows upwards and you can move between them and select as before. Um, it's very simple but I prefer reverse mode uh, for most tasks because uh, where you where you look before the command which is the last line of your um, of your frame the bottom of the frame that does not change you can continue to look there because the prompt shows up there um, in some sense this mirrors the default behavior of Emacs where instead of showing these candidates in a list um, they show up in a separate completions buffer right above the mini buffer. So this is a, this I find to be closer to Emacs default behavior and I quite like it. Okay, um, if you turn on vertical buffer mode now candidates show up in a separate buffer. So I called extended um, run extended command and as you can see it shows up in a buffer in this case on the right uh, what buffer it uses or creates for this purpose is customizable as is pretty much everything else um, so that's MX here's find file it's the same display but now in a separate buffer and also you can see more candidates uh, as a result this uh, might remind you a little bit of how Helm works um, one interesting thing is that you're not limited to turning uh, these on one at a time. So I turned on uh, grid mode and buffer mode and now you can see that candidates appear in a buffer and in a grid. And likewise, this is execute extended command. All right. Not all combinations of these work, but uh, if it makes sense to combine them, chances are uh, it sh it'll work fine. The next extension is vertical flat and as you might expect this shows the candidates in a flat list this is reminiscent of uh, Emacs features like iComplete or iDo that do the same you can do this with Vertico as well um, you might have noticed when using Vertico that uh, by default the mouse does nothing now you don't use the mouse often in Emacs but it's handy to have if you turn on Vertico mouse mode uh, now you can click um, on any of the completion candidates to select it. For example, I clicked on um, that to open that file. So that's mouse mode. I'm just going to leave that on for now. Um, next up is indexed. If you turn on vertical indexed, it adds a number to each candidate. And now you can call uh, any of these uh, by prefixing enter with 
uh, that number. So the way you would do it would be, for example, to open this third file, you would do Control 3 or Control U3 and enter, and that should open that file. Um, it's handy to combine indexed with grid because now I have direct access to all 62 files here. So to open the 61st file, I would do Control 61, enter, and that opens 61st file. All right, so that's indexed and grid. Um, and then the last one is vertical unobtrusive mode. And what this does is uh, minimizes the display of the candidates to just the top candidate so that if you type something, um, then uh, it shows the candidate that's been selected. So if you press return now, it's going to uh, run this command on this candidate. Um, it might seem like unobtrusive mode does not have, uh, is not very useful, but I actually use it all the time, primarily when I am switching buffers. Uh, so this is switch to buffer. It's actually consult buffer, but it's a command that lets you switch buffers. And um, if you're switching between two buffers, it's distracting to have a list pop-up showing um, a list of all the buffers, for example. In this case, um, with vertical unobtrusive mode, um, you don't have to worry about that. So it's, uh, it's handy to use this mode when you know what you're doing, basically. Okay, so those are the uh, display modes. You can also change vertical selection method. Um, let's demo that as well. So indexed, for example, is one of the ways where you can change how you select a candidate, in this case by prefixing uh, a return with the number. But there's a different way to do this. So let me turn on grid mode. Um, and now, instead of prefixing it by a number, you can get an AV-like hint system um, where each candidate is prefixed by a hint character or two. And now pressing uh, the keys for that hint, for example, LL, will open the corresponding candidate, which is um, petrolbuffers.org. Um, and that's vertical quick. Um, another interesting thing you can do here is um, instead of um, using the hints to select a candidate, you can also use the hints to run an arbitrary action on this. For example, I like to use the hints to call embark on a candidate. So in this case, when I select, uh, when I press KJ, it's going to select the zone command and it is going to run embark on that command. And now I can uh, select the command that I want uh, to run on it instead of just running the command itself. Um, all right. Okay, so there's one, uh, one extension that I haven't talked about and it's this one, vertical multiform. And as the name suggests, this lets you do two things, actually. One, it's, it lets you um, switch between all of these on the fly, the, all these other modes on the fly. And two, it lets you specify um, which uh, display style you would like to use uh, for which command. Uh, so for example, you can set these per category. So you can set it so that um, for all file selection commands, uh, the candidates show up in a grid and reversed. And then for uh, all grep commands, uh, they show up in a buffer and so on. So let me turn on multiform mode, come back here. And now um, if I try, uh, let me execute that. If I try to select a file, it shows up in a reverse grid, but if I run uh, consult grep, it shows up instead in a buffer on the side. So now I can search for something, and you can see the search results show up in this buffer. Um, 
and I've also set it so that I menu shows up uh, in a buffer, for example. So if I switch to a code document, um, for example this one, and I call I menu, it shows up in a buffer on the right, which um, I prefer to um, a short list of candidates at the bottom of the screen. So these are the variables and functions defined in this uh, code document. And by default, I have set it so that um, this that so that the display used is unobtrusive. So, for example, when I call switch to buffer, or basically any command that's um, whose category is not captured here, for instance, uh, describe function, the display used is the unobtrusive kind. Um, the second thing that it does is let you switch between them. So. If I'm looking for uh, candidates, and uh, this the candidate shown here in the uh, as the completion is not the one I want, then with the press of a key I can switch um, between different styles. In this case, I switch between unobtrusive and reverse. Um, I find this to be the best of both worlds because uh, by default this selection process stays. Uh, it remains unobtrusive, stays out of my way, but if I want more information, I can call it up at any time. So the, there are other completion systems that do this uh, by default, for example, MCT by uh, Protest Laos. Um, but I like that you can do this in Vertigo as well, and Vertigo tends to run um, much faster than most other completion systems I've tried, or even written, for that matter. Uh, similarly, you can set them per command. Uh, so in this case, I've set it so that execute extended command, that's MX, actually has uh, runs with a flat display. So when I call MX, it's flat. When I call something else, it's unobtrusive. Um, if I call grep, it's in a buffer, and so on. So you can tweak uh, you can tweak Vertigo so that uh, it works, the display works uh, how you like it. Um, Vertigo uh, extensions are currently not packaged with Vertigo. They're on GitHub and actively being worked on. But I've been using them for a few weeks now, and um, it's I find them very convenient and handy to have, so I thought I would spread the word. Thanks for listening.